Well, my favourite Shakespearean character is Beatrice because so many women in theatre, you know, are decorative or demure, and Beatrice shoots from the lip. She has what I call a black belt in Tung Fu. And I think all modern comedy, all rom-coms, have all been based on Beatrice and Benedict when they were sparring with each other. I mean, that was the prototype. Everyone has one book they remember that changed them profoundly. And with the first book where they were just totally absorbed into that world where daily life became less important than what was happening between the pages. I mean, for me, it was Wuthering Heights. I was 16, so just the right age for that kind of, you know, tortured romance. And, you know, I love the Brontes. I mean, I know everything about them. I'm, I'm like a, a brontosaurus, OK? I am. It's sad but true. So, yeah. We love the women writers. And in fact, you know, what really annoys me about men, well, there's many things, but one, the main thing is that men don't read books by women writers. I and mean, we know that women read books by men and women, but men don't read fiction by women, not even dead women. I mean, they don't even read Austen or the Brontes. Um, so I do think it's time that you boys slip between our covers a bit more often. Join the clitorati. You'll love it. Well, I only write because it's cheaper than therapy. And that's the main reason people do write. And also because you can impale enemies on the end of your pen. It's great revenge. You can shish kebab misogynists or people who cheated on you or just general ratbags. So, yes, that's why I would never go to Couch Canyon, which is what I call Hampstead, where all the shrinks are. Because if I went to a shrink, I would never put pen to paper. Because, yeah, it's the best. A poetic justice is the only true justice in the world. And I say that married to a lawyer. Mother who finishes a novel should get the Booker Prize because it is so much harder for us. All my male writer friends, you know, they, they go to their little room and their wives bring them up little sandwiches and say to the children, shh, daddy's working, he's a genius, genius. As a mother, you know, if you have half an hour when you're not bailing one out of prison and, you know, stopping one from disappearing up the stairs with a math tutor between her teeth, you know, you are writing then. In fact, you know, Cyril Connolly made that famous comment about the pram in the hall is the enemy of promise. I used to think that was true. I thought, God, for every baby I'm losing four books. But funnily enough, I've changed my mind because my women writer friends who don't have children, um, they, they have time for writer's block. I mean, as a mother, you do not have time for writer's block. You're just putting pun to paper whenever you get five seconds. So, yeah, discipline, ha, huh, you know, I'm sorry. Maybe after the kids leave home, please.